Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad is trying to tighten his grip on power as violent protesters take hold of the capital Tehran. He's banned foreign media, forcing protesters to turn to the internet to show their struggle to the world. Today, no one was backing down. In a show of force, both sides took to the streets. The government bust in thousands to support President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad to prove he legitimately won last Friday's election. Their views of the opposition couldn't be more clear. Death to the saboteurs, they shouted. A few blocks away, at least 100,000 supporters of opposition leader Mir Hussein Mousavi lined the streets. For many people, it's reached the point that they're no longer afraid of being fired on. They're no longer afraid of the prospects of violence. Today, the government made it illegal for journalists to film on the street. Foreign reporters were told to leave. But it isn't working. The protesters have cell phones. They've posted thousands of videos on the Internet, showing riot police beating demonstrators and guards firing into crowds. And they're using Twitter to exchange tactics and avoid arrest. The tweets, short internet messages, read like military radio traffic. Where Black One said, medics needed. Some rallies may be a trap. <clears throat> the man at the center of the controversy, President Ahmadinejad, was at an economic conference in Russia, where he was congratulated on his landslide victory, a victory still so contested at home.